What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can resolve the issue where the computer turns itself on after you shut it down now um, if you've got a computer that you've shut down and it all automatically restarts itself and all of a sudden you're getting the PC booting back up at strange times then I'm going to show you that some of the things you can do to try to resolve uh, this issue so first off what we're going to do here is make sure that you disconnect any type of USB or peripheral from the computer so apart from your keyboard and mouse um, but basically uh, any other like printer scanners USB flash drives, external drives and stuff like that Take, unplug all those and keep your mouse and keyboard plugged in and then uh, try and shut your computer down and see if it happens again if that uh, doesn't work then obviously what you can do here is go to the uh, troubleshooter tool so what you want to do come down to the search just put trouble and as soon as you put trouble in there you will see troubleshooter settings here inside here what you want to do is look for the uh, power troubleshooter and this will be for your power settings so we're just going to come down here there it is there so click on this one and you can run the troubleshooter for the power settings just in case uh, there's something wrong there if there is then it will uh, find that problem and hopefully rectify it so we finished with that one next up what you can do here is go in and restore all your power settings here so what we're going to do is go to the search box type CMD here right click and run as administrator and from here what you want to do is reset the power settings just in case uh, you've got some sort of issue there so you can do power CFG and in space dash restore default scheme push enter okay next up you want to try and check your BIOS to make sure you've got the latest BIOS for your motherboard so you have to do a search for your motherboard make in this case uh, this is my motherboard here and uh, what you want to do is look down at the support area here and you want to look for the BIOS driver here or BIOS firmware and uh, look for that BIOS and see if it's up to date check with the BIOS that you've got on your system as you can see this here is my BIOS here the latest one you can check here by typing MS info click on this here and you should see the BIOS date here 25 the 5th 2016 for your BIOS version and date so someone there along this one is the one I've got and there's actually two more new ones here which I can download so you should uh, use the latest version here you can run a report on your system by going to CMD right click run as administrator and open up the command prompt here and type in this big long command I'll leave this in the video description for you but basically what that's going to do is get a power config uh, minus energy minus output uh, report here you've seen me cover this before and this will give you a full-blown report on your system now I've already got one here uh, but basically what will happen is when you push enter it will start to run and it will take a little bit of time about 60 seconds and you should have the report done the report will look something like this and you'll get a full-blown report of all your power settings on your computer and you can check it out and find out if there's any issues uh, with that next we're going to go into the power and sleep settings so go down to the search button and just do power and sleep just by putting the power in you can see that we can click on this here once you're inside here you want to go over to where it says additional settings just make sure everything is set exactly how it should be we've reset these to defaults so they should be uh, back to default settings going to change plan settings here 
and uh, you should see change advanced power, power settings click on this one here and this will open up this box and then you can just check here to make sure everything is set exactly how you want it so power button and lid just make sure that the it's on shutdown because you can change this you don't this uh, so just make sure everything is set back to the way it should be and you've got wake up on LAN as well you've got to make sure that um, that doesn't wake up I'm going to click OK here so just check inside there to make sure all your settings are OK this is where your power settings are and that's important and uh, another one to do is choose what power buttons do you can see here shut down make sure that's on shutdown and uh, you can also change here you can turn off the uh, fast startup so you can click on this and you can make, remove the tick from uh, turn off fast startup recommended take the tick out of this and sometimes this uh, can fix that issue that you have there just check inside the registry as well you can check inside here for the uh, fast startup here just make sure it has been disabled and that way you'll know 100% that it's not going to cause a problem because sometimes it does cause an issue uh, there so we're going to go to HK local machine and then system then current control set and then control pull this open here so you can see and once you're inside here you want to go to session session manager there we go uh, inside session manager you want to go down to where it says power and just check your power settings inside here make sure that nothing is set to the wrong setting so you can look at say um, hyper boot enabled let's just pull that open a bit there we go and just make sure that is uh, set to zero on there few more things you can check yourselves uh, like schedule maintenance and stuff like that make sure it's not going into hibernation mode instead of sleep mode uh, instead of a shutdown mode or sleep because you don't want that happening because what's going to happen is uh, any sort of device like um, your mouse or anything like that could um, wake it up if it says wake up we're moved things like that just make sure it's going into shutdown mode if that's what you're trying to do and it's not set to any sort of hibernation or sleep. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. And uh, if you've got any more problems or any more solutions, let them people know in the comment section down below. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.